Yeah, so me and my cousins, we've been chasing around lizards for the last day and a half, and one of the kinds of lizards that we've been chasing around is the western whiptail. And it's been really fast, it's been super hard to catch, but we just caught one right over here, here close to the Capitol Reef area. So we got him right here. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna take him to a little bit better lighting spot to get some cool shots. And yeah, so we finally got one, we're super pumped, and here we go. All right, so we got the western whiptail in a little bit better place now where I can show it. We just, I have it in the net right now just to make sure it doesn't escape because we finally were able to get one and I don't want to lose it right away. We'll release it after a little bit, but these guys have a lot of energy and you can see, look how long they are, especially that tail and that's probably the main reason they're called the whip tail, it's just such a long tail. It's feet as well right here, you can see it has... One really long finger right there, and some other decent ones. Some pretty decent sized claws for its size at least. And another cool thing about these guys is they're, you can just see its tongue go out like that. And it, it looks a lot like a snake tongue. It's kind of a forked tongue. We'll see if he'll maybe stick his tongue out again. So we'll keep an eye out for that as we're going out because I can't just make him open his tongue on demand. But and then if we look at his pattern, he's like black on the top and then orange on the bottom. And you can see those stripes running down his back with the polka dots as well. But the stripes run all the way down with the back, with the black, and then they run all the way down, turning into orange. And yeah, these guys have a lot of energy. He just put his tongue out again right there. It looks a lot like a snake. We, uh, this is probably, me and my cousins have always been here in the Capitol Reef area and just southern Utah and stuff like that. This is probably the most, this is probably the lizard we've seen the most actually, this exact type of lizard. Um, but it was the hardest to catch because it's so fast. And also, this type of lizard likes to be a lot more in the bushes. And when there's a lizard in the bushes, it's a lot harder to catch it than when it's like in some rocks or something. Because you can kind of move the rocks out of the way. But with the bushes, you can't just grab your hand in there and try to snag him because all the plants are just gonna kind of get in your way but yeah they're ridiculously fast we might be able to see how fast he is when we release it like most lizards we get close again oh that was close he almost he almost got out for their ears they just have like just holes in their head right there and uh, these guys i mean a lot of lizards look like mini komodo dragons i guess you could say but this one's head really reminds me of one. It's got really pointed head, and like some of the other lizards that we caught, like the sagebrush lizard, which um, there's a new video about just a few days ago. That sagebrush lizard, its front mouth is more rounded, where this one's a lot more pointed. Its tongue stuck up right there, and we're gonna um, we'll show them right up close in a tiny little bit but we have to go do something right now and then we'll let him go so we just decided that we're just gonna release him right now we finally got one of these lizards it's definitely the hardest one to catch actually let me quickly explain how we caught him so there was just this canyon wall you said there's another whip tail over there if you want to take the net and try to catch him too but we uh there was just a canyon wall so we didn't have to surround him as much with us we only had to surround him half as much as we would normally have to and then uh, uh, my uncle, he came in from the side, scared him, and he just ran right up against the wall. I stuck out my net. He ran to the net and we were able to grab him. So out of like 40 that we saw and tried to catch, or right around there, we were finally able to get one. So we're going to let him go. We'll see if he'll show how fast he is right here. So I'm right here. So in those quick little darts, you can just see he's just super fast. And... Uh, yeah, he's right there, and he goes into the bush, and that's when they get really hard to find. But yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.